What's up? It's Maddie here in Munich, Germany. My hair's all messed up because I was in the rain. You have to watch part one if you don't understand. It was wet, it was rainy, I wanted to see what was out there, and I ended up like coming across an Aldi, and I'm like, oh, that's funny, because they're a German company, and oh, you know what? I could probably buy a bunch of German food there. Put out an Instagram post of, hey, what should I try? Who lives in Germany? It got so out of control that I ended up getting this much food. And I don't know how I'm supposed to eat all of this. Like, this is crazy. But let's go ahead and try some of this. Starting with the, how do you say that? Obaz, obazda, obazda. Someone said that's good. Obazda. The cheese dipping sauce. And I assume that it goes very well with this pretzel. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, let's try it with the pretzel. Here you go, everybody. My very first dip of some, uh, how do you say it? Obazda. Oh, hey. I'm the only one eating it, so I can double dip all I want. Here we go. I can't talk. Who says that? There's so many products made with like the with the Kinder chocolate. Kinder, Kinder, Kinder. I, yeah, I don't know. But let's go and try it out. I've never had it before. Let's see what all the hype's about. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, I like the way it looks. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. I don't know. Yo, you got this uh, milky center. Oh, look at that. I'm becoming such a food channel. That wasn't even a very descriptive word. Like milky. Wow, so milky. Oh, wow, did you go to culinary school? Uh-huh. Every time I think it tastes like something, but it does have like a similar taste profile, there's literally nothing I can compare it to. Nothing I can compare it to. Nothing I can compare it to. This is really good. I think I had this backstage at one of the shows. I think it's like a carbonated apple juice. I think. That's what I thought when I bought it. It totally is. I was drinking it. See? Bubbly. It's so good. Now I'm curious about this one. I think it's also an apple drink, maybe? Perhaps? Let's try it out. Let's see if it's also carbonated. Okay, let's. Let's see if it's as fizzy as the other one. Let's see. Mm -mm. Whoa, what in the world? Whoa. Wait. What is that? Whoa, wait a second. Okay, so the other thing is like sparkling apple cider. What is this? Okay, okay. Okay, all, why did I say okay a thousand times? Every time I go to a country and try like a soft drink from there, it like blows my mind. Um, um, Dudler. That is so tasty. Wow. And I guess this is a football bread and I guess it's good just for, I don't know, dip it, dip it, dip it good. Do you dip it? Do you just eat it? What do you, what do you do? Let's see if I can break it. Let's just. Let's try it without the dip first and see what's up. In addition to, oh, that is, that is, whoa. I just looked at it now, how fluffy that is. That's, whoa. So, wow, I'm like, sorry, I was taken back by that. I, what I was trying to say was, when I put the post on Instagram, I had a lot of people just saying general one word answer, bread, any kind of bread. So I grabbed a bunch of bread. This thing was like 75 cents, not even. That's crazy how good that is. Tastes like a pretzel. But like, imagine a pretzel that had that type of like fluffy airiness to it and it eats like a piece of bread. That's why it's blowing my mind. Oh, it's just a self pretzel. No, this is like a loaf of bread that tastes like a pretzel, but also has I don't even know. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got some tough fee fee. All right, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. Look at that, I didn't even open it. All I did, I slid this out and like, that's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty good. Okay, let's see what we got. Thank you, whoever recommended that one. That was so like impersonal. Thank you for whoever did that. Oh, but that is so good. This is the first one that I feel guilty having to eat so fast because it was so good, but it's like a caramel hazelnut thing that you know, when I'm like, oh, let's just try it so I can get to the next thing, I felt pretty guilty. I can't wait to actually enjoy that later 
and just let it uh, do its thing. That was weird. Actually, you know what I'm like so obsessed with here is the yogurt. And I got a bunch of the yogurt when I was there because this is cool. I can keep it on the bus and eat it all to her. Not this jar. I'm not gonna eat this jar all to her. Stop, you know what I meant. Why are you being that way? All right, when I put a picture out when I was at the grocery store and I'm like, hey, what should I get? Someone said, hey, get this. I can't remember what it was called. But I'm like, sure, why not? We... Like, my first thought is, please, do we have time to get back and get more of those? That, ooh, whoa. I've never had something that was so spongy on the inside. Check it out. It looks so weird, but it sponges right back into its regular shape. That's why I was like freaking out when I was biting it. Cause I thought I was just gonna bite right through. Nope. This, okay. Did not expect this. This is my favorite thing. I thought it was just gonna be like, okay, let's try this little like cinnamon ball or whatever, but. Yep, so far this is my favorite thing of the whole Aldi trip. This is gonna be tough, I'm slowing down. So this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a few more of the breads. Breads, oh man, I'm so full already. Yeah, bread, okay, we're gonna have bread. I'm gonna try that coffee drink and I'm gonna start putting things in the fridge. I'm not, I'm, let me say that I'm not throwing this away, I promise. And I can't remember what it was. If it's as good as the other thing, like, I'm gonna have to call the front desk and put like an emergency because I'm going to lose my mind. I thought it was gonna taste just like the other thing. Not even close, the consistency is so different. Hey, back to bread, okay. Because you know what? What better judge of bread than just by eating a piece of bread? Okay, here we go. What am I talking about? This is crazy, like I'm not even joking. That's a legit reaction, you probably saw it. Whoa, I just got another, what kind of bread is that? This is, I promise this is authentic. How can you get that excited about a piece of bread when it's this good? That's how, what, what are we talking about? I'm not, I'm not even joking. The last thing I'm gonna try is this espresso latte. Okay, now how cool could a latte be? I don't know, but check it out, this is really cool. So peel back the foil and the plastic has like a, a cutout for it to sip through. That's really cool, love it. Let's go and see what it tastes like. Let's see what we got. Yep. Oh, that's good. The top three things. I had that pastry ball. I don't even know what you would call it. I need to figure that out because that was amazing. Like, then that bread that I had. Like, how good could bread be? Stop, it could be that good. And then number three is going to be the good old Almdudler. So this is crazy. So I looked it up and they say it's like a carbonated soft drink that's made with like herbs, like herbal ingredients. So I was gonna say it tastes like tea, like an herbal tea or something. It's like an herbal tea soft drink. It's really, let me try it. I haven't had it in a while. Let me see. I haven't had it in a while. I just, I just had it 10 minutes ago. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It tastes like if you made Earl Grey tea into a soft drink and put someone in a hat on the label, two people. That's what it tastes like. 